Campus Virchla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. Let's look at the hormones that play a very critical role in the female reproductive system. We we'll look at each hormone and how it plays a crucial role in the proper functioning. First is follicle stimulating hormone also called as FSH. It is produced by the pituitary gland in the brain. In the early phase of menstrual cycle, FSH stimulates the growth and development of follicles and follicles are fluid filled sacs in the ovaries that contain the eggs. This hormone is essential for the maturation of eggs and the production of another hormone called estrogen. Next let's talk about luteinizing hormone. Also produced by the pituitary gland, LH, luteinizing hormone, plays a crucial role in triggering ovulation as in it plays a very important role in the release of eggs from the follicles which are situated in the ovaries. Around the middle of the menstrual cycle, a surge or a rise in LH levels prompts or encourages the mature follicle to release an eggs from the ovary. This process is called ovulation and LH is very critical for this process to occur. Next is estrogen. It is a primary hormone produced by the ovaries with similar amounts produced by the adrenaline glands and fat cells also. It has several important functions including promoting the growth and development of the uterine lining which is called as the endometrium and in preparation for possible pregnancy also. Estrogen helps regulate the menstrual cycle and plays a role in bone health and cardiovascular health also in women. Progesterone is produced by the ovaries after ovulation and it's a very important hormone. It prepares the uterine lining for the potential implantation of a fertilized egg. If pregnancy occurs, progesterone helps maintaining the uterine lining and supports the early st stages of pregnancy. If pregnancy does not occur, progesterone levels drop leading to the shedding of the uterine lining during menstruation. So it plays a very important role in not just pregnancy but maintaining pregnancy in the early stages. Next is gonadotrophin releasing hormone also called as GnRH produced by the hypothalamus. Now hypothalamus is located in the brain. GnRH stimulates the release of FSH and LH from the pituitary gland. So you understand that FSH and LH are ultimately under the control of GnRH hormone which is released or produced by the hypothalamus. This acts on the pituitary and pituitary then releases FSH and LH. Its pulsatile release controls the timing and the levels of these gonadotrophins which are FSH and LH. Now this in turn regulates the menstrual cycle. So you understand that GnRH is critical. It is released by the hypothalamus. It acts on the pituitary. Pituitary then releases FSH and LH which are very important for the proper regulation of menstrual cycle which includes release of eggs. Then comes another very important hormone called prolactin. It is again produced by the pituitary gland. Prolactin is known for its role in stimulating milk production during breastfeeding. Elevated levels of prolactin outside of pregnancy and during breastfeeding can lead to irregular menstrual cycles or even amenorrhea which is absence of menstruation. Let me explain. If you are not pregnant, you are trying for pregnancy and prolactin levels are high, the body, the, the reproductive system thinks you are pregnant, you are breastfeeding and then does not let you have regular menstrual cycles or does not let you uh, ovulate that is the egg is not released therefore pregnancy becomes very difficult because this hormone is particularly released during breastfeeding so the body is confused therefore elevated levels of prolactin must be checked if you're trying for pregnancy medications should be given thereby you can get pregnant easily next is human chorionic gonadotrophin also called as hcg this hormone is produced by the developing placenta after a fertilized egg attaches to the uterine lining. It maintains the corpus luteum. Corpus luteum is nothing but the follicle after the egg is released. It is called as corpus luteum. And it is very important, the HCG is very important during early pregnancy, ensuring that the continued production of progesterone until the placenta takes over the hormone production is regulated by HCG hormone. So it's a very critical hormone. These hormones work together in a very delicate balance to regulate the menstrual cycle, ovulation and pregnancy. Any disruption in these hormonal balances can lead to irregular cycles, infertility or other reproductive health issues. And if you are experiencing irregularities or having concerns about your reproductive health, it is definitely advisable to consult a healthcare professional or a reproductive medicine specialist and get a thorough evaluation and appropriate guidance which will then give you the path to take for achieving pregnancy faster. If you wish to understand more about the hormones or have irregular hormonal levels you want to see what your treatment options are please feel free to contact us at ziva fertility thank you a lot of effort has gone into making this video please like and subscribe us thank you